What's up, everybody? How you doing? This is Max Boogie from Wall Street. We back at it again in this Ultimate Team mode. It's a little quicker, quick video, right? Quick. It's a lot of quicks, but I'm just going over this um this defensive formation, the four four split. Um, right now I'm not in it because he's in like a five block set. But this game, I'm showing it um to y'all because it, it kind of it got it bought, got me thinking about two points because in this game. Uh, but the 4-4 split, I, was, I held this guy to like 13 rushes for like 2 yards. It was really crazy. I'm going to show the stats at the end of the game and everything. But it was really, really, I was really stopping most of his run plays. You know what I'm saying? Now, what I was doing on defense, I haven't. I wasn't trying it. I was using the 4-6, the 46 normal. Um, I wasn't really, um, this game I was crashing the D-line to the strong side of the um offensive formation so if it's like equal like that i was crashing it towards the left side of the field because there's more space over there but in like i form pro i would crash it towards the tight end because you know three to the to the right or the left of the center that's a strong side right, but previously i didn't think that worked i've been doing well i remember doing it in like madden 08 09 a bunch of early madden before i even started youtube and stuff like that me and my brother, our friends, we used to all just crash line because it would seem like it would, it would work. We used to slot protect as well on run plays. You know what I'm saying? I, I haven't tried that this year, but I'm thinking with all the gap, um, the gap assignments and things like that, by doing by crashing the line to the left or the right or down to the middle, you won't see a QB sneak. I crash the line down to the middle, and the D tackles come across. You know, they came across up the middle and hit the quarterback. It's going to be shown later in the game, but that's probably something that can be used with the 4-4 split. Um, I just came out in cover three whenever he had like two running backs or two tight ends or whatever, or two wide receivers, and we stopped uh, all of his runs. Like, there wasn't a run. Probably this was the longest run, longest run right here, and that was for like six, seven yards. But um, I, I got to get, I guess my D-line was better than his offensive lineman. This is the only game that i've uh tried it and i actually just got a lot of guy i got a guy that actually ran the ball a lot so you can see right here he's an iphone type pair and this it was crazy because these the formations he was running out of i was thinking that those are the formations that i think can run the ball you know what i'm saying I, that's what i was going to next after um i get out of the formations that that i use you know what i'm saying so it's crazy for me because like oh man now that now I know the four four split it stops this these types of runs that I'm doing. Cause he definitely tried to counter, he tried um I know he tried to counter, I'm not sure what formation, but I know he this is a tight pair counter and I just, I think I went to the I crashed to the right on that one and he got in, in the backfield. This is I crashed to the middle and we get another stop by coming there. It's, I also gotta use it, you know, my linebackers are all quick. And my D-line is all block shed. But there I crashed to the middle. And we stopped him. I didn't have to do anything. But now, fourth and goal, I only stopped him about three times. I'll try to do some more. You know, just some more. We shift the lineman over, but it's too quick. You know what I'm saying? So, I want y'all to try it out. Because um, I'm not sure. I got to go lab it up. I, this is the first game I've, I've been playing with it. So, I, I was using the 46 normal. Make sure you run out of bounds when you got a long run and somebody honks you because you will fumble. But um, yeah, just go try that out because this is gonna be. It could be a really like if I get something more down to it, it could be a really easy run defense because all I'm doing is crashing my line to the left, to the right, down, and um, maybe you can crash them up if you don't know. You know what I'm saying? And I'm spreading the linebackers out, and that's stopping all these runs. He done. I know he tried to counter. He tried to uh, deuce close. The stretch play out of that is kind of like the single back ace um, stretch play, but it, the, the tight end is just off the line. So I'm going to get in the lab and I'm going to try that out. And um, you could try it out as well. And if it works for you, you know, leave it in the comment section. Leave leave your feedback. Maybe you already know. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I didn't do any other uh, passing play, pass coverage plays out of it um, other than cover three. I'm not even sure if it has any. Um yeah you know i'm still a little bit sick that's why my voice sounds a little bit weird but uh hopefully we we get out of this slump and we get back into the real <laughs> excuse me we get back into the real voice and uh, you can see it right here he only has four rushing yards 
This whole game I kicked on him, but um, he sent me a message saying GG. I sent him a message saying GG, and it's all good. You know what I'm saying? But try this 4-4 split out. I'm going to show you the uh, stats right here. 13 rushing attempts for two yards for his running back. Average 0 0.1 yards a rush. You know what I'm saying? It's really, really crazy. Now, um, so, yeah, you guys could go try it out. I got some offensive tips coming in. You can see both of my running backs averaged over six yards a rush. Each had a touchdown. Each had a fumble because they each got hawked down. But luckily, both fumbles went out of bounds. So make sure you run into the out of bounds, man. I wouldn't. Until they until they patch the strip button. But this video is coming to an end. There's this message. But always remember, in the street we trust, I'm out.